We're here with Alex Cabanas, uh, Chief Development and Strategy Officer for Benchmark Hospitality International. Thank you for joining us. Absolutely, Tyler. Thanks for being here. And you guys uh, really have a fairly aggressive growth strategy right now, and I was just wondering if you could tell our audience more about that and sort of how it fits in with the prevailing market conditions right now. Uh, you know, Tyler, we're really thinking about um, a number of a number of factors in our industry that are converging to the benefit of a company like Benchmark that thinks very entrepreneurially about our properties, uh, tries to create a unique sense of place, um, a unique destination, is very focused on the local and regional market, and has incredible expertise in the meetings and uh, and conference center business. And the, the three things that we're we're sort of thinking about are. Uh, you know, in many industries, you're seeing consumers seek an authentic experience, mm -hmm. and that at brands, quote unquote, you see it in the grocery store with, uh, you know, with consumer brands. You see it in retail. You're seeing it in a lot of places that they're really seeking something authentic, not something that's homogenized, and that's something that we're really benefiting from in our industry. Secondly, is the distribution world is 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 leveled. You know, it's electronic, it's marketing, it's advertising, it is speaking directly to the customer. It's no longer the 1-800 number that used to be so powerful 15, 20 years ago. Mm -hmm. That's really not as prevalent, so that's also in our benefit. And lastly is the ownership community of the types of properties that we manage are more and more seeking a management company that absolutely speaks to them and focuses on them as the customer set with the benchmark brand as a secondary position to the property brand and to the ownership's desire to maximize the value of that property. So we don't think about benchmark as, uh, we think about it as a, as a value enhancer to the owner who owns the property. And we think they're really, frankly, tired of the big franchise operators and long-term franchise agreements that come with all kinds of costs and encumbrances and a bunch of um, a bunch of disciplines and a bunch of decisions that aren't necessarily beneficial for every single property or for their own individual property. So all of those kind of three things, the consumer, the distribution, and the capital markets are all converging in a way, all at different time periods too, to really benefit the business model that we have and the particular niche in the industry that we own. And you've picked up a, a few more properties just recently. Yeah, we picked up four properties in the last six months uh, in uh, in four great locations. We uh, we picked up a property in Maui, uh, one in Orlando, uh, one in Miami, and one in Houston. And in in all cases, you know, two two projects were immediate referrals uh, from properties that uh, that were successful in those markets, and we were referred by somebody in our business. Uh, one was a relationship we had for 12 years that eventually culminated to uh, uh, finally taking it over, a project in Orlando. And one was in our backyard where uh, you know a consultant that had worked with us before heard of an owner who was managing it on his own independently and just couldn't turn the pages fast enough to really adapt to our industry and the sales and marketing that was needed. And uh, you know, in, in all cases, we've been able to absorb it and uh, have been able to add significant value to each project. and we. You know, we see that, that trend continuing of management opportunities for us. Well, great. Thank you for your time, and uh, good luck on everything, and I'm sure we'll hear more soon. Great. Thanks, Tyler. Appreciate it.